At the consecration of the bread, the celebrant will hold the host between the thumb and forefinger of both hands. From that point on, since those thumbs and forefingers have been holding the body of Christ, they are then held together throughout the remainder of the Eucharistic action so that no crumbs are lost. Immediately preceding the prayer of consecration of the bread and the wine, the priest will move to one end of the altar and will have his thumbs and forefingers washed in a lavabo bowl with water. This washing is to prepare those fingers to hold the bread and the chalice, signifying a purity, not a purity of the priest, but a purity of heart of the entire congregation. It is traditional to say these words, I will wash my hands in innocency, O Lord, and so will I go to thine altar. The celebrant of the Eucharist begins the Sursum Corda with his hands and arms extended in what is known as the Orans position. This is traditionally uh, an ancient form of posture for prayer, at least in the Christian tradition, and it signifies our openness to God in the midst of our worship experience at the Eucharist. Near the end of the prayer of consecration, the celebrant says these words, and although we are unworthy through our manifold sins, at the word unworthy, the celebrant is to strike his left breast with his right hand made in a fist. That is an outward and visible sign on behalf of the people and the priest of our own unworthiness and the necessity that we have for God's forgiveness.